hello hello and uh, welcome back to Suffolk and Norfolk fishing and I thought I'd just um, I'm just setting up my anchor at the moment and I thought I would share with you a, a very simple quick release method so that ideally you won't be losing your anchor if it gets stuck to anything um, now this can be used I use this on either my sib my small inflatable boat uh, when I'm using so sort of the smaller grapple grapple anchors like this um, or I've got another sort of a homemade job that's made by my granddad I think many many moons ago um, again incredibly simple just a bit of bar or got my slightly bigger one which I use on my Alaska 500 the, the bigger plow but the methods of using this as a quick release is is the same for whatever anchor you're using essentially what you need to make is a uh, a weak link in the chain in the anchor chain and that's the bit that's going to give um, if you get stuck uh, your anchor gets stuck on the ground for an anchor to work it has got to be pulling flat okay if it's too down it won't get a grip this this spike won't stick into the ground and if it's too upright obviously it's just going to move around and you're going to bounce down so the most important thing about anchoring and when you're anchoring is that you've got enough chain to to bring this flat and then as it drags along the ground this will grip onto something and then that's what's going to stop your boat moving so the actual anchor will sit flat the chain will sit flat along the seabed and then it's only when it gets to the rope that you want to start coming up towards the boat so that's why you need to let out a lot more line than you uh, than you first think of but that's deviating from the point really from what we're actually going to talk about here so all of these anchors have two points uh, where you can attach a, a, a shackle or chain to one at the end here and one at the front here now for this and I'm going to show you on each of these anchors um, how, how I'm going to attach them but for this it's essentially I'm going to put a shackle through this one then I'm going to have a bit of a loose chain attached to the shackle and it's going to attach um, to this one using um, a couple of uh, cable ties and I'm just going to show you how I do that okay so here are the different selection of anchors I'm just going to show you how they how they work and if you imagine that this is the part of the seabed this one the grapple that I use on my sib that will just lock in there now if you try and pull it out pulling that same way I mean it's brilliant it's not going to move when you're you're actually fishing but if you try and um, pull that out you're not going to be able to pull it out so what we need to do with this one is try and pull it from the front when you want it to pull from the front okay so when you're at anchor it will sit there and it won't move but you won't be able to pull it out you go to pull it out you need this bit to break away and then for you to be able to pull that bit at the front and pull it up and pull it out a bit like unhooking a fish really um, this one's much the same okay you want it to hook there so that your boat doesn't move and you stay on the same spot but if you pull it backwards from this point you'll never release it so again you want it to break away and this is only in some circumstances because 90 something percent of the time you will just be able to pull it out normally like that and it'll just pull through the, the clay or the mud or the sand or whatever it is that you're in but this is only when you're getting stuck on the bottom when you're getting stuck under a stone or a rock or um, a bit of wire or, or whatever it is that, that's, that's trapped the tip of your um, anchor so then you need to snap this bit away good sound effects there and you need to be able to pull from this bit here so if you pull upwards it will just lift away again like unhooking a fish and it's quite a simple process to do this and as I said you can do this for, for either of these two anchors um, you can do it for this one as well if you put a shackle around one of those points um, but essentially all you need to do I'm not sure if this little bit of chain going to be long enough I don't think it is if you take your longer chain and you attach it with a shackle around there and that's fixed you will never break that and then you run a length of the chain along it doesn't have to be it doesn't even have to be very tight to be honest 
then you attach the chain to this part of the anchor with a couple of trusty cable ties. Now I would say that one isn't enough and that you would need two to make it effective because one could break away too easily and then you're going to be, um, your anchor won't fix anyway. So I would use two and remember you can if you want to as well and you're really stuck you can um, motor over the top of your anchor and that will break these away if you haven't quite got the, the power to break it away yourself. Okay, two cable ties, that'll hold that nice and easily. If you need to break them away, they'll break away and then the pressure, the power that you'll be lifting will lift it the front up and lift it out backwards. Um, and when you're doing this, just nip the ends off because obviously if when they do break, break you don't want all of the plastic to go in back to the sea, it's only just a little bit going in. Um, and hopefully that'll come back. So that's exactly the same on here. It's got the front and the back one, and that will just break away from the seabed. I hope that's been a, a useful little tip for you. And I think, bear in mind, there's 100, 100 ways to skin a cat, but that's just the way that I do it. So um, I know there'll be a 101 experts out there saying, well, you can't do this, can't do that. But to be honest, it's, it's worked for me, so um, I thought I'd pass it on. And it's really simple, really cheap, and, uh, and it just works. I'll see you again.